Hello and welcome to Creative Sparkle. My name's Holly and today we're doing an art journal prompt list. So grab your art supplies and let's get crafting. <music> And thank you for joining me today. So today is the 52nd and final prompt list. I have done one a week for a full year now. So this is the final prompt list. So let's get started. First prompt is to prime the page ready for the use of water if needed. So I'm just getting that masking tape stuck down and I'm going to use white gesso to prime my page. If you are working in a normal sketchbook or a, a normal art journal that you don't need to prime then don't worry if you don't want to you can use whatever you want to prime if you have clear gesso rather than white gesso or even white acrylic paint whatever you want to use if you want to prime so don't worry if you don't need to So now that the page is primed, prompt number two is to apply a subtle colour to fill the background in any medium. So as I said before, if you haven't primed then don't worry because you can use acrylic paint if that's what you decide to use for your second prompt. I am using acrylic paint in the colour Mushroom by Nouveau and I'm just going to put a layer down of that. Um, I will do a second layer but I won't make you watch all that, don't worry. <laughs> um, so if you wanted to use gelatos for example or you can use some inks or whatever you want to put down in the background just as long as it's a subtle colour so the subtle colour mainly is the the prompt and yeah just any medium that you want to use really so I'm going to put that down with a brush I did decide that I might want to stipple with a sponge just to make sure those brush marks went in there but after the second layer you didn't really notice them so that's that prompt done so once we're happy with that, we'll move on to prompt number three. So it's to use cling film or plastic wrapping to press paint into the page, embracing any creases or wrinkles. So I had a bit of a doozy with this one. <laughs> I have never done this before and I thought, you know, as part of the prompt list, it'll be exciting to try. So first of all, I am, as you can see, putting the paint onto the cling film, scrunching it up, getting paint everywhere, and then um, pressing it onto the page. I also let that paint dry, sorry I did put some water on it as well, I sprayed some water on just to get that um, spread around a bit. So I decided to leave the cling film on the page and let that dry overnight, however when I started to peel away the paint, I will show you, sorry peel away the, peel away the cling film, I saw that the cling film unfortunately didn't want to leave the page so you can see here that it, it does create quite a nice pattern if you maybe want to leave the cling film on <laughs> so that didn't work so unfortunately I did have to scrap those pages and start again so I've gone in with the same mushroom paint again and decided to try that again so as you can see here I ripped the page so that was just that was just it for that one so you can see here I've, I've done it again and gone in with more cling film so this time I'm putting the paint onto the cling film and spreading it with a brush so again I decided to try pressing the cling film onto the page but obviously once you spread that onto the page there's going to be no crinkles in it because you've spread it on with a brush so again it didn't work so third time's a charm I decided this time to get a different platform I just used one of my glass trays and put the paint on there and then scrunched up the cling film and pressed it into the paint to use it as a kind of brush I guess so finally I am happy with the result of this one <laughs> so I'm still getting paint everywhere but I'm just pressing that onto the page and as the prompt says, embracing the crinkles or the wrinkles or whatever. So uh, yeah, I was happy with that in the end. So you'll see once I've finished applying that paint, the, the result is a lot better than the previous. <laughs> so when that prompt is finally finished, don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> the prompt number four 
is to use a palette knife to drag small amounts of medium of your choice all in one direction. So I've chosen this purple mist cosmic shimmer gilding paste or gilding polish whatever you want to call it and I'm using a palette knife and I'm just going to scrape it across the pages as the prompt said. So you can use any medium that you want. You could use texture paste if that's what you want to use. I just decided to go with this because I thought the purple would look nice against that background that I've created already. But you use what you have available to you and what you think will look good on the page. You can use acrylic paint if you want. So prompt number five is to choose pattern paper and cut out your focal image, keeping it separate from the page. So the pattern paper I chose was from this paper pack and actually it's not that patterned so I wish I had gone for a more of a patterned one but that's okay so I've used my scan and cut to cut out these flower images so once you've got your focal image the next prompt is prompt number six which is to emboss or add texture to the focal image and then add it to the page so I'm using an embossing folder and I'm just adding the texture to the one piece that I've cut out and then one of the circles inside as well so I'm running that through my big shot and then you can see the texture on it there if you don't have a big shot or embossing folders to use then you can use anything to add just put some um, kitchen roll or something squishy underneath your focal image and you can use the back of a paintbrush or an embossing tool if you have one and get that texture on yourself so I've decided to go with a purple distress ink just to add some definition to the flower the focal point that i have just because i wanted to make sure you can see that texture properly and then i'm going to go around the edges as well i think it's dusty corduroy that i chose to add to that because obviously it's purple <laughs> so once we've added that then i'm just going to use some normal pba glue to get that stuck down so the next prompt is prompt number seven which is to add ephemera to the page whatever matches your layout so I've decided to go through my dies that I have in a folder and I'm just selecting some butterflies and some flowers to make die cuts from some papers that I have in my stash and I'm just getting those put on the pages as well. And I'm going to use several distress inks just to add some shade into the items that I've decided to add and then again I'm going to just add them with that school glue. So any ephemera that you have that matches your focal image or that you think goes well with your page will be great. So once that's done and stuck down, number eight is to add lines or definition to your focal image and or ephemera to make clear. So I've chosen to use metallic pen because that cosmic shimmer gilding polish in the background is very metallic. So I wanted to try and add something a bit extra as well. And I'm just going to go around and add some definition to both the focal image and the purple ephemera as well. So with the flowers, I'm going to add some lines and dots just to give them a bit more definition. So you can add shadows or you can add patterns like I've done or you can do whatever you feel is best for your page. I bet you get sick of hearing me say that. <laughs> Um, I did decide, as you can see here, to go in with a green one, but I didn't like it, so I scrubbed it away. <laughs> so the ninth prompt is to add a title that is not handwritten. So I've chosen to use a sticker set from Tim Holtz, and I'm just adding a few quotes on there. There will be pictures at the end of everything, so you'll be able to read that if you do want to. I'm just going to put some Mod Podge over the top to make sure they stay on the page, and it's the matte Mod Podge that I'm using. And once I've done that, I'm going to add some Distress Ink in one lipstick over the top just with the cotton bud so it is more cohesive with the page. So you can add stenciling for your title if you wanted to use that, or you can add stamping. You can print something out and put that on the page if you, you know, don't have the stickers available. Just use what you have available to you, as usual. <laughs> and um, whatever title that you think suits your page. So the 10th and final prompt is to finish your page with whatever you want. So I have decided to go with liquid pearls and I'm going to add them randomly over the page. The colours I've chosen match the page so I thought it went quite well. But you can do whatever you wish for your final prompt of the final prompt series. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed the series and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For the future, I will probably do the prompt list again. I'm just not sure when yet because I have other projects to be working on. But you'll see those next time, I'm sure. 
if you do decide to take part in the prompts list please do tag me on instagram i would love to see your creations and don't forget to use the hashtag sparkle prompts and i will see you next time where we will turn your creative spark into creative sparkle thanks bye